a ball is thrown vertically upwards into the air. Means this question came out before in this same paper. I know. They like to throw balls, I guess. It rises to the top of its part. No lies, it's because it's like a classic physics thing. Rises to the top of its part before beginning to fall vertically downwards. So the ball, my ball is going to go up and turn down. Look, this way. Assume that the GPE of the ball is zero at the starting position. Okay, can GPE equal zero here? Which statement about the ball is not correct? Ah, which statement is it not correct? As it rises, the kinetic energy is transferred to gravitational potential energy. Definitely, because the ball is losing speed. Okay, and it's gaining height. So yes, at midpoint of the path, the GPE is equal to its initial kinetic energy. This one a bit sus, okay? Because you want to show that it is equal. Maybe I'll look for it. Maybe I need to prove, but I'll just hang on to it first. I'll just put a question mark. Midpoint question mark. At the top of its part, kinetic energy is zero. Definitely. Because at the top of its part, it is stationary. D, at the top of its part, the total energy is less than the initial total energy. Hey, hey, where did the energy go? You may be tempted to choose D, but chill first. I need to check whether there's friction. So let's see. This ball is thrown vertically upwards in air. Wait, 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 wait rewind, rewind. Into the air. Got air resistance or not? Got what teacher? So into air, so there's some lost in energy to friction or air resistance. So if you want to draw the Sankey diagram or the energy flow diagram, you will have kinetic energy. Some of it becomes GPE, but some of it is lost as heat thanks to resistance, air resistance. Higher, like that. Lah. It do be like that sometimes. So this means D is correct. Okay. Indeed, the total energy is less than the initial total energy. This is because it is due to air resistance. So I guess the only answer that is wrong is B. Kinetic energy is not exactly half. Okay, so this means that at midpoint, the GPE is equal to the initial kinetic energy. Cannot be. Okay, teacher, what if there's no air resistance? Will it be equal? They cannot be equal because there's air resistance already. So I don't even know what the air resistance is. I don't even know how big the air resistance is. So I definitely don't know or cannot calculate what the GPE and KE is. But if there is no air resistance, I want to know what the kinetic energy and the potential energy is at midpoint. So let's assume big if no air resistance. So we have already answered the question. We're just doing a bit of a discovery, side track, side quest to see if there's no air resistance. What is the ratio of Ke to GPE at the midpoint of the path? Okay. So currently, right, let's say the starting position, I have a speed V. I want to know what is this V2. Okay. Or maybe I put this one as V1. I want to know what is V2 in terms of V1. Okay, if this is midpoint, because this V here is zero. All right, so in the middle, I want to know V2 in terms of V1 or V. Okay, then I can use ratio, ma, right? So midpoint of the path here to here, I have to find what is the velocity. This is h over 2. This whole thing is h. 
This is just extra calculation in case the question is modified so you know what to do. Okay. So right now, I want to find the speed at the midpoint. Teacher, can I use Stuva? Can, but you don't have time. So here's my suggestion. If there's no air resistance, I suggest you draw a graph. Okay. So I know the VT graph is a straight line. Okay. Straight line like this. And this is the top of the path. And this one is your V1. Okay. In the middle, do, 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 do. can I say that this one will be V1 over 2? Because it's right in the middle. Cannot. Because time. I don't know whether it is half the time. So this is not the middle. So if you're thinking of just dividing it by 2, that is not the way. Okay? So definitely, you can already conclude that B is out. But if you want to do further discovery, there are more videos based on how do you calculate what is this B2. You can use conservation of energy. You can also form simultaneous equation. There are too many unknowns. Okay, So that's why if I want to round off this video early or make it short, B is definitely out. Not just because of air resistance, but because there is no way that the speed is half. No way. Because, look, when we talk about area, the area itself is h over 2. And h over 2 is area under the graph. So half area is definitely not here. This cannot be half of this. These two don't have the same area. Yep. So you will need to find V2 in terms of V1. And then from there, sub into the kinetic energy equation. So if we do that, that is another video, not for this one. Okay, so try out more statement question. Learn to eliminate what is irrelevant. Read the question carefully.